baby. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. <laughs> Would you like anything from Dunk? No. No. Okay. I have free money, you know. <laughs> what? Here we go. Of course, today is the day the sun decides to come out. Hi, heels on my tippies. Go, set and go. Could I do a small vanilla iced coffee and then an order of the stuffed everything bagel minis and that's it. Thank you. My new year's resolution will start tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Today is not one of their days. Of course. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I'm so sorry y'all. It's not focusing anymore. Maybe it's because my face is too ugly this morning, but like... <laughs> This is not okay. Uh -oh. Sister said, can you pick me and Gabby up and take us to Target? <laughs> and pleasey, would you like to reply? I just want to eat my bagel minis and drink my coffee in peace, but I can't. Everything seems to be going wrong today. We're turning. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh, no. You would think someone that films YouTube videos would invest in like a car tripod, which I did. I spent $35 on a little mount for my camera and it doesn't stick anymore after like one month, so. This is the fit for today, American Eagle, American Eagle, and then I have my Uggs on. We have to decide which bag we want to go with today, this black one from Coach. I don't really think it's the vibe. Also, it like bunches up by my armpit. Ugh, I don't like that, but it's like my favorite purse. Or I could do this one. I feel like this is the vibe. It also doesn't bunch up the sweater by my armpit, so I think we're going to do this one. So now I have to switch everything out of my black purse into this purse. Don't mind what's in this bag. <laughs> Let's do what's in my bag. Hand sanitizer, always. I got this for Christmas. A little compact mirror. It's pink and sparkly. My fave. Advil, because, you know, it's that time of the month. I have two perfumes. This is a sample from Dior. Then Victoria's Secret Bombshell. An eyebrow spoolie. Mini brush from Benefit. And then the airbrush flawless finish micro powder. Because my skin gets so oily during the day. Now let's talk about the amount of lip products I have in my purse. This is insane. Why does one person need all of this. <laughs> a hair tie. Then I keep some gum in my bag because, you know, we don't want smelly breath. New York. It sounds like Legos. <laughs> it's a vending machine. <laughs> then my keys, of course, and then my phone also goes in there. And that is my full haul of what's in my bag. <laughs> Always gotta put deodorant on. And of course, perfume. First off is Plato's Closet. I did a closet clean out like months ago. I have trash bags just sitting in my trunk and I want them out. So we're gonna take them to Plato's Closet and whatever they don't take, I'm just gonna take it to Goodwill because there's one right down the road. We're gonna drop these off and then possibly get lunch depending on how long it's gonna take. I don't have high hopes for Plato's Closet. I never really take anything, but we might as well try. I just left Plato's Closet. It took about 40 minutes. So I went and got lunch at Chick-fil-A because it was right down the road. And I sat in the parking lot until they called me. So I went in. They took 22 things, which is pretty good. So I got $91 total for 22 things. So now I'm on my way to Goodwill to drop the bags off and donate them. Cause I just, I don't want them in my trunk anymore. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, guys, look. This is crazy. I remember when these were so popular. Oh, the good old days. My birthday is in like eight days and I am just specifically looking for like a birthday dress. That's all I'm here for. Not having any luck with finding a dress that I like. All right, let's go check out. I just got out. So first off, I was literally only going in for a dress. Like that's literally all I needed. But I went up to the counter, like where everything's like locked up and you have to ask for like assistance for someone to like get it out. And I saw this, a digital camera and it's in great condition and it's only eight bucks. I don't know. I asked her, I was like, do you know if this works? And she was like, I'm sure it does. There's like an off and on switch. I turn it on, it doesn't turn on, but like it's in great condition. So I don't know why it wouldn't work. So I opened where the battery is. There's a battery okay and it seems to be in good condition so i'm just gonna have to find like a charger i bought it because one it was only eight bucks and digital cameras are low-key expensive i had to get this i'm basically done in this town so i'm gonna head home so this is my charger for my batteries for my camera and <laughs> it does not fit it's way too small so i'm gonna look online and see if i can find like a charger y'all i just got back from walmart so <laughs> last time i filmed i was you know just looking up what charger i need for for the battery for the camera and Walmart has like a universal battery charger so you can charge literally any camera battery. So I literally took my happy butt all the way to Walmart and I bought it. I'm pretty sure that means it's charging, which is a good sign. Battery is charging, so let's all just pray that the camera turns on when the battery is charged. It's probably gonna take a minute. I cannot believe like that this is happening. Like what? Look at my cutie pie. She's so cute. <laughs> you think he knows like he's on the internet? <laughs> Why do you look like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you look like that? Since my family decided to leave, I'll be eating on my own. So we're just gonna make something at the house. This is kind of what I gathered. As a 19 year old that doesn't know how to cook for the life of her, other than like grilled cheese or like French toast, this is our dinner for tonight. <laughs> Y'all are not ready for this. <laughs> Best find ever. Nothing will ever top finding this camera for $8. I took this and then this. <laughs> I just had to hop on here and show you guys that the camera works. Y'all, I wanted to show you guys my book cart. I actually just reorganized it like maybe an hour ago. So I had books like sitting on my ground cause I got four new books like last week. This is very different from my reading video that I just did. So all of these I have yet to read. Also same with these. So I put my series down here, Twisted series, Lancaster Prep series, standalones, except for this one, but I haven't read it yet. So I haven't gotten the other books. This book is too tall, like I said, haven't read these either. I put all of the books that I've read back there. So now I have plenty of room. The only room that I have is this back part right here for new books.
guys ever look at photos from like three, four years ago of yourself and you're like, what the actual frick happened? I never realized how bad I had body dysmorphia until I look at old photos. I wish I could tell my younger self, don't be so harsh on yourself. Like you're not fat, like you're actually beautiful. Like you have a perfect body. I went down that rabbit hole tonight. I literally would do anything to have my body from three years ago, which is so sad because I literally wasted all my young teenage years worrying about not important stuff. It's actually so freaking sad and I hate that us girls and guys or whoever goes through it deals with that. I think body dysmorphia is like truly like, it's just so evil. Why do we have to deal with that? And if you feel like that, I'm so sorry, but you're not alone because like I go down this rabbit hole of looking at photos of myself like every other day. It's a really bad habit. I should probably break it because it's actually really depressing, but it's fine. I don't know why I do this to myself. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's currently 1.30 in the morning so that's why 1am thoughts what can i say <laughs> my video imported so now i can start editing